Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make Google Chrome always open using incognito mode. So incognito mode is private browsing, so it's not going to keep track of your history or save cookies and that kind of other temporary files to your computer. So normally to use it, you need to open Chrome, go to the three dots here, go to new incognito window, and then you'll be able to go from there. And then of course you have two windows open when it does that. So if you want to have it open all the time using incognito mode, you could right click your shortcut, go to properties, and then in the target box here, at the end of the quote there, put a dash incognito with a space before that. Click apply. You might get a pop-up message saying, you know, asking for permission. So, so click OK to that. And now when you open it, it goes right to incognito mode. But the catch is, if you try and open one of your other shortcuts, let's say from your start menu or taskbar, it's going to be normal mode. So if you like everything on your desktop or on your taskbar, you could actually make two shortcuts. So let's rename this one here. And now we'll copy this. Paste it. And we'll rename this one. We'll just take off the incognito to make it just Google Chrome. And then we'll go back to the properties of this one, take off the incognito, and click OK. So now we have two shortcuts here. So we have our incognito, and then we have our regular. And I suppose if you wanted to get really crazy, you could try and find another uh, icon for it. You know, let's say you wanted to do this for your incognito. And now you have two shortcuts and you could pin them to your taskbar or whatever you want to do to, you know, make it easier to get to. So pretty simple. So once again, just right click on your shortcut properties at the end in the target box space dash incognito and you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.